Savior, Jesus Christ. Brethren, it is written in the Gospel of St. Luke that our Savior, Jesus Christ, continued the whole night in prayer before he chose and set forth his twelve apostles. It is written also in the Acts of the Apostles that the disciples who at Antioch did fast and pray before they laid hands on Paul and the and sent them forth. Let us therefore follow the example of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and his apostles first fall to prayer before we admit and send forth this person presented to us to the work of Therefore, follow the example of our Savior Jesus Christ and his apostles. First, fall to prayer before we admit and send forth this person presented to us to the work whereto we trust the Holy Ghost has called him. Elder Naomi Smith, the Assistant General Mother of the Full Bible Holiness Church, Incorporated, is coming to offer prayer. Oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for being so kind to us. This evening, our Heavenly Father, we come to you in the most humble way. God, we want you to look down upon us. Let your heart this evening. You know the job he's about to do. We know you can carry us through this journey. You never left him all alone, but God, you said you'll be right there when trouble rises on every hand. God, we want you to bless him and touch his body. Encourage his soul to see him. Oh God, we know you're going to work it out for him, Lord. Oh God, you have him do another job. Lord, have thine own way. Because thou art the potter and thou art the clay. God, we want to keep molding and molding each and every day, Lord. Oh God, we are praying to you to have your way this evening. God, we are working. We know you can work it out for him, Lord. Yes, Lord. Your promise yes. you'll never leave him all alone. Yes. Oh God, we want you to have, to give him strength and give him courage to stand still and be your servant. Yes, Lord. Lord, I'm I know you will, and I know that you can. I'm, oh, God. I'm, Lord, I want you to work it out right now. I'm, work it out, Lord. I'm, in this church, Lord. I'm, in this community. I'm, work it out in this community, Lord. I'm, save somebody. I'm, let them know that the way to sin is death. I'm, but to give a God's eternal life. I'm, Lord, we're going to leave it in your hand. I'm, and send down your power. Give him strength, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 My brother, for as much as the Holy Scriptures commanded that we should not be hasty and lay it on hands on many, many persons of the government of the Church of Christ, which he hath purchased with no less price than the infusion of his own blood, before we admit you to this administration, we will examine you in certain articles to the end that the congregation present may have a fair trial and bear witness how you are minded to behave yourself in the church of God. I feel a God, Senior, are you persuaded that you are truly called to this ministry, this administration according to the will of God? Our Lord Jesus Christ, who may answer our answer. I am so persuaded. My brother, are you persuaded that the Holy Scriptures contain significant and all doctrines requiring necessity to eternal salvation through faith in Christ Jesus? And are you determined out of the same Holy Scriptures to instruct the people committed to your charge 
and to teach and maintain nothing as required of necessity to, it, to eternal salvation by that which ye shall be persuaded may be concluded and proven by the same. I am persuaded and will determine by God's will. Will you then faithfully exercise yourself in the same Holy Spirit and call upon God by prayer that the true understanding of the same so that you may be able by them to teach and exhort the wholesome doctrine and to withstand all kinds of a, a con confession.
people guess all you know this. Come on, come on, praise Come on. 
praise him, praise him, praise him. Come on. Come on, let's give him praise. Let's give him hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. before Christ. Its design was to cover the body of the chief priest or officiant. It is a symbol of humility and personal sacrifice in that the bishop gives up his privilege to wear ordinary clothing. called a banda or a girdle. The tassels which hang from the cincture usually fall unevenly, symbolizing the bishop's imperfection in administration and his personal need for a personal perfect God. Thank you. 
so much pain, but he knows what's best for me. Although my weary eyes cannot see, now say thank you, Lord. Know what I've been through. 
and where I've come from. But I thank God, the worst is over. Bishop Fields preach here today. The worst is over, and the best is yet to come. Because this is the year of Jubilee. You ain't seen that yet. The best is yet to come. I desire y'all prayers and pray for me. Thank you. Thank I'm not going to talk because some of them got to go. I thank y'all for just being patient. Thank you so much. I love y'all. If, if I had something to give you, I would, but I ain't got nothing. I just, I just got Bishop. Wait a couple of years, I'll be all right. <laughs> Bishop, sending you Give heed unto it. Read it, exhort it, and doctrine. Think upon the things that are contained in this book. Be diligent in them, that the increase coming thereby may be manifested unto all men. Take heed unto thyself and to thy doctrine, for by doing so thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Be to the flock of Christ a shepherd, not a wolf. Feed them, devour them not. Hold up the weak, heal the sick, bind up the broken, bring again the outcast, seek the lost, be so merciful that ye may not be too remiss, so minister discipline that for, ye, that for you forget not mercy, that when the chief shepherd shall appear, you may receive that never fading crown of glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. But now I want you to also notice you cannot honor the bishop without remembering the first lady. So Sister Hart, you're not a bishop, but you're the bishop's wife. And I could not come here to consecrate him and present him with the life on the date of his consecration without remembering you. Amen. You're the apple of his eye. <laughs> and you are the first lady. And you are the God. Thank you so much.
Pastor Starks from uh, will be here with us. Hornsville, Zion Hill Baptist Church will be with us the first Sunday in May at 4 o'clock. So please, you're invited to come and be a part of that service. Any other announcements? Then we're ready to be dismissed. Amen. Father, we thank you for this day, how you have blessed us all day long. We thank you for your glorious moving of your spirit and how you manifested yourself among us for the powerful word we heard this morning and the powerful word we heard this afternoon. Oh God, just help us to not only be hearers of your word, but doers likewise. God bless those that are getting ready to leave and go back on the highway. We thank you for how you brought them here, and we know that you are the God that brought them can take them back. You say, Lo, you be with us always, even to the end of the world. We pray, traveling mercy right now, that while they enter that van, it'll be covered in your blood. And those that are going in cars, be covered in the blood. And you will take them back to their homes safely, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we know you can, we know you will. Lord, we pray that there be no accident, there be no trouble. Cars will be ready to go, van ready to go. Keep the drivers alert in the name of Jesus. According to your word, we believe it by faith and we know it's done. And then Lord, even those that are here in the city that are just driving home, there's danger everywhere. God, but we pray traveling mercy that you would take us home safely. In Jesus' name, and your name be glorified. Amen. Amen.